surprised, though, that you haven't played more gangsters in your career because it's such a staple of, like, you know, I... Italian-American movie stars and... This has been the bane of my existence. I thought, like, all right, you, I was born around a lot of broken noses and wise guys in Philadelphia. I get it. I understand how it works. I worked on the docks when I was 16. I get it. So here comes a lot the Godfather. I go, now, here I am. They're casting 250 extras for the wedding scene. Yeah. So I'm standing in line, finally 200. I'm there. I go... I'm ready. I'll do anything. I'll stand behind the cake. I won't bother anybody. They go, you don't look Italian enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I, I mean, I look like a plate of spaghetti. Are they nuts? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the way I love this bit, the way the business works, I came back 30 years later and hired that casting director and pretty much tortured her for three or four years. <laughs> Didn't you? Am I right in thinking that in the 70s, before they made the first Superman series, you auditioned for the role of Superman? Yes, I was going to be the world's shortest Superman. It was uh, <laughs> a new concept. I was going to fly below the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I don't look good in leotards at all. <laughs> like that, too skinny. Too skinny. <laughs>